This is how it arrives uh, in a nice fabric bag, no plastic uh, board. Um, you've got oceanic on the uh, on the sides. You've got a, uh, a reusable sort of handle and these uh, kind of poppers just to keep it closed. On this on this side. You have the uh, the serial number and the barcode to so keep hold of that. Uh, it's always important to keep note of your, your serial numbers. Um, and then on the inside, you get the BCD itself. You also have operating manual, a bit of silica gel uh, packet down at the bottom of the bag. Do not consume. Um, yeah, so the owner's manual, uh, I imagine, yeah, in, in a few different languages. So have a read through that. So there'll be a digital version as well, I imagine, on their website. The, um, uh, the corrugated hose and the inflator is usually in a plastic bag just to keep it uh, sort of nice and clean. Does come with an inflator hose as well. All you have to do is fit that to your um, uh, to your regulator. Uh, yeah, let's take a closer look at the BCD itself. Okay, so looking over the Ocean Pro, starting up over the, uh, the left-hand shoulder. So you do have a pull dump over your left-hand shoulder. If you grab hold of the inflator itself and then pull it down, there's actually a stainless steel cable on the inside of that that leads over to the shoulder. So if you just pull it down without pushing any buttons, that's gonna open up a valve over your left-hand shoulder and start to vent. So that way, if you're in the upright position with your shoulders upright, all the gas gets to the highest point inside and then it will vent out of there. Going down, we actually have a, a Velcro retainer just to hold everything in position. There's a, a plastic clip as well to hold your, your actual inflator hose next to that corrugated hose. Traditional inflator just pops into position and then you have Oceanic's Reliant Inflator. So this triangular button here, so that's the inflate button, the gray button on the tip, that's the deflate button, and you also have that oral inflation valve as well. Underneath the, uh, the inflator, you just have a straight traditional pinch clip one way adjustable or actually you just pull to adjust that shoulder strap. Uh, the shoulder straps themselves do have a certain amount of padding as well. You have that chest strap so you can adjust that, you can undo that pinch clip so you can keep the shoulder straps in position over your shoulders. On your right hand side you have a pre-bent, actually no correction, that is a straight plastic D-ring so saving a little bit of weight if you're a traveling diver but you can still clip off onto that. Just to the side of it you have this little toggle here so this is to activate the pull dump over your right hand shoulder. Uh, again if you're upright or if you're horizontal you can just give a little tug on that and any gas around that, uh, that valve will uh, leave the BCD. Same pinch clip adjustable uh, shoulder strap on that. And then moving down to the size of the BCD. So on your left hand side, it actually comes with a hose retainer, which is quite nice. So that's for your gauges, um, but that's attached onto a plastic D-ring. So if you have your own bolt snap or whatever it is, you can clip it off onto that. You have a zippered pocket in the side. This BCD is fully inflated at the moment, so you can't really get a sense for the size of the pocket, but it continues all the way down throughout this whole section. So if you do have something big, like a spare mask or a reel or something, then you can fit it in there. When it's fully inflated, obviously, it kind of takes up the other uh, room of that pocket. In front of that, on the outside, you have the quick release weight pockets. So if you grab hold of this uh, sort of plastic rubbery handle, give that a tug, you can see it's not an easy quick release mechanism. Um, it's not gonna just fall out, but if you do give it a good tug from the front, then it does release. And then you have your weight pouch itself. So this is the QLR4 system. Um, and you can see how that mechanism kind of works as you pull on the handle. It just retracts this kind of pinch clip design. So very strong and secure, but if you do really give it a tug, it is gonna come free. The, uh, the pouch itself, uh, if you undo that zipper, so you could probably fit about four and a half kilos. That's what these are, uh, are rated to. And yeah, you do have plenty of space inside of that. Uh, zipper it closed and this zipper actually almost seals itself. So because if you're just using raw lead, that can start to leach out into the water, which we don't really want. So that actually helps to contain it inside of the, uh, the pouch itself and stops it from uh, sort of leaching out into the water. 
Otherwise, on the uh, on the underside, you don't have any D-rings underneath there, uh, but across the front, you have that Velcro cummerbund and then the pinch clip across the front as well. So you're nice and strong and secure inside the BCD. And with that cummerbund, it's not too tight in any one particular area, but as you move your body, the BCD is gonna move with you. Turning the BCD around, so you can see the back side of it. So we have trim weight pouches either side of your cylinder. So you can put some lead inside of that. It's not quick release, so you can't ditch it during a dive because it's quite hard to reach, but it just allows you to move some up away from your waist and a little bit higher up towards your shoulders. Traditional Kanban design, uh, nice and compact as well. So if you're traveling, you don't have this huge buckle um, just sort of adding weight. Um, you have the, the actual uh, sort of back plate of it. It's cradled, so it's kind of concave. So it's gonna hold onto the cylinder, stop it from twisting and turning, and hold it in position. Something else that's helping with that is this leash that goes up at the top. So that will just go around your tank valve and then you just pull that nice and tight so it's strong and secure, holds onto your or uh, your cylinder so that's not moving anywhere. And then down in your right hand kidney, you have your one way kidney dump. So if you tug on that or if you over pressurize the BCD, that's where it's going to vent from. Okay, guys, so that's the Oceanic Ocean Pro BCD, a jacket style BCD, very, very tough materials, uh, got lots of nice features all over it. So if you're just starting out, it's a great BCD jacket style. So it's really going to sort of wrap you up. You've got pockets built in and it's relatively lightweight as well. So I I'd still be pretty happy uh, traveling with it, but you can still dive this at home. Definitely something you should consider. There'll be more information on our website, simplyscuba.com. Just click on the link down in the description below so you can check it out. Thank you for watching and of course, safe diving. Yeah.